Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to read a book called Harley the Hero. Harley the service dog is on the job. He goes to school every day with Mrs. Pritchard to make sure she feels safe. Their students are a lot of fun, but Harley can't play with them while he is wearing his work vest. They write him lots of letters instead and everything is perfect in the best, most quiet class in the whole school until the day the old stage curtains catch fire. As the fire alarm blares and chaos erupts, Harley remembers that Mrs. Pritchard isn't the only human in his class who gets upset by loud noises. This is inspired by a true story, and let's find out what exactly happened. Our class is the quietest, most amazing class in the whole school. That's because Harley is always on the job. Every day, he comes to school in his special blue working vest with Mrs. Pritchard. His job is to help her feel safe so she can be the best teacher she can be. He walks beside her, sits beside her, and lies beside her. He always keeps one eye open so he can see everything. Harley's a great dog, most of the time, unless he can see your feet. Harley loves to lick feet. Even though he's on the job, he just can't resist. It tickles, I kind of like it. Amelia, my very best friend, doesn't like it, but she does love Harley. She wears two pairs of socks to school and one pair of rubber boots in the classroom, just in case. It's my job to make sure Harley gets to my feet before hers. I'm pretty good at it. I'm kind of like Harley for Amelia, there are lots of things I do to make her feel safe. I watch out for things that might upset her like loud noises, weird smells, or too close things. Amelia makes sure my pencils are extra sharp and listens to all my stories. Other kids don't really get it. Harley does. At recess, Harley makes sure everyone is lined up to leave before the teacher says we can go. Amelia and I are always last. It's quieter at the end of the line, and there's more space. At lunchtime, I really want to pet Harley and feed him my vegetables, but we aren't allowed to do that when he's wearing his vest. Whenever we really want to play with Harley, we write him letters and make him gifts instead. Everyone has a lot to share with him. His any mail box is full every single day. Most days, there are also leftover vegetables and homemade treats. We all love Harley. We also love our teacher. So we make sure everything is quiet so she can feel safe in our class too. But nothing was quiet on the day the old stage curtains caught fire. Everything was suddenly so loud, the fire alarm rang and rang and rang. It smelled like smoke. There actually was smoke. Everyone ran to the door, even though we were supposed to walk. Everyone except Amelia. I saw her run the other way. Amelia! I yelled. Mrs. Pritchard called me to get in line. But Amelia is back there! I cried. My face was wet. I could hear the fire trucks coming. Harley barked and pulled hard on his leash, dragging Mrs. Pritchard back to her desk. Harley found Amelia under the desk. He nudged her. He pulled on her sleeve. He barked in her ear. Then Harley licked her boots. 
Amelia was so startled, she jumped out from under the desk. Mrs. Pritchard, Amelia, and Harley crawled down the hallway under the smoke. Firemen were running around unloading hoses and turning on pumps, and already putting the fire out. When Harley came out with Amelia and Mrs. Pritchard, the whole school cheered. The firemen cheered too. Then, as quickly as it had started, the fire was out. Everyone was safe. Harley was a hero, and even heroes get to take a break sometimes. At the end of this book, the author has left a very special note. I visit lots of extraordinary classrooms as an author and illustrator. A few years ago, I visited a classroom at my children's school, where the teacher had a service dog named Stanley. I could tell immediately that something about Stanley made this classroom an extra special place. Sherry Richards, the teacher, told me what a difference Stanley made for her and for all the kids. I asked her if I could make a book about Stanley. And his adventures, including fire drills, his jobs in the classroom, and the way he really does like to lick toes, even when he isn't supposed to. That story became this book. And a note from Sherry Richards reads: "I am an elementary school teacher with Limestone District School Board. I have a service dog." Named Stanley, who was trained by Kingston for Paws Service Dogs. He is with me because I have post-traumatic stress disorder, which is an invisible disability. Students aren't allowed to touch Stanley because he is a service dog, so they interact with him by delivering mail to our classroom any mailbox. Kingston for Paws helped me train Stanley to open the mailbox, which is a very exciting part of the week in our classroom community. Before I had Stanley, there were years when I couldn't leave my house due to PTSD. He has helped me get my life back and is my true hero.